Hi friends, today I am going to show you this magic brush effect using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. First, let me create an index.html with template HTML5 code and adding style.css and script.js files to it. And then I am creating a canvas with id my canvas. In style.css, using the canvas id, I am adding a width of 1024 pixel and height of 732 pixel. A background image which we are going to reveal after we move the brush on the canvas, which I named after.png. Let me copy that image into the workspace. And I am adding background size cover so that the image covers the entire canvas. I am also adding cursor crosshair so that I get a camera lens like cursor. Let us preview it once. I have specified the width and height in the canvas which is equal to the width and height of the image so that the image will not distort. In the script.js, using document.getElementById, I am accessing the canvas and I am getting the context and storing it in a variable. Then I am creating a new image. In the image onload function, I am drawing the image in the context in position 0,0, .0 to the canvas width comma height. After that, I am setting the image source to the image which we are going to show in the beginning. Let me also copy that image. Now if we refresh, we can see the black and white image. In index.html, let me add on mouse move event and calling a function perform magic on moving mouse. Let me create that function in script.js. Inside that, I need to get the exact brush position. For that, I am creating another function called getBrush, which accepts current mouse positions as parameters. Inside getBrush function, I am getting the canvas boundary using getBoundingClientRect and then using a simple math to get the exact brush positions. So in perform magic function, after getting exact brush positions, I need to detect whether the left mouse button is clicked. I am calling another function named paint if left button is clicked. To the paint function, I am passing the brush positions as parameters. Paint function is the place where we have the main logic. There, first I am calling the begin path function and after that I am calling the arc function to draw a circle for a certain area. Here 15 decides the size of the circle. And finally, I am using the global composite operation function, which is the most important. I am using destination out as the value and filling that canvas, so that the area at that position will be erased and reveal the image below. And everything in place, if we preview that now, we can see this cool effect. We can also create similar effects using different images, for example, like this. Hope you like this video. Please leave your comments and also subscribe to my channel. I will meet you soon in my next video. Thank you.